Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome on a new tutorial on Spark AR. This time I want to show you how to split the image of your camera real fast on uh, Spark AR update v.80. So to get started, I like to start with the background template because it gives you already the camera texture, a rectangle and like some more things you don't have to add. I'm just going to delete whatever I don't need. Like, I don't need the user rectangle. I don't need this replace me file. I don't need the user material. And uh, yeah, so let's click on background and click on texture drag camera texture inside the patch editor go on add assets import from AR library patch assets shaders we're gonna import this mirror patch and I want to import this RGB color shift and, uh, and adjust colors. That's it. Let's drag them into the patch editor. So connect the RGB from the camera texture into texture and the output inside the background material. This is what is gonna happen. So here we are. Let's change the subject models for a little because I use only the same one just for practice. It's just there. So as you can see, this little patch has, it says mirror style 1 to 12 and you can just change the value 1 to 12 and see whatever you like. I really like this one, 9. I'm gonna go with it. So let's now drag the RGB shift patch and connect it after the mirror shader and this magic will happen. I really like this RGB shift for some reason. It's just really cool. And then let's try something more. Let's duplicate our background by clicking right on it. Duplicate. I'm gonna change the material. Click on the material. Turn it flat. Click on texture. And let's try to drag the adjust color shaders inside the patch editor and connect it to what we have. It's a little glitchy. I don't like it. Let's try to connect the mirror shader. That's better. Now what we do, we go on the material and in Blender options, I like multiply and turn the opacity down to 20 to 30. It will work. Add the loop animation, progress into hue and this is what's gonna happen. Try to invert it, mess around a little bit until you're happy with it. Try different blend mode, but I think multiply just works better for this kind of effect. And uh, adjust saturation to taste, brightness as well. And that's it. You can go back and change the mirror shader number to like see what happened. I'm gonna send it to my phone and post a short video for you as always so you see how it looks from my phone and uh, as I said before I'm gonna put in the description the link of it so you can download it for free 
and uh, start from there. So you already have the patch and everything. Or just if you want to learn it and like make sure you learn it, try to just follow it up and remake it. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. It means a lot to me. You're showing me love and uh, I'd be really happy to make more tutorials real soon. Thank you guys.